Today's my birthday, and to celebrate, I coached two of my sons through making me breakfast and lunch. But there's one catch. I can't watch while they cook. I can only coach them with my back to them. We've done this before. Perhaps you'll remember when they cooked a surf and a turf sandwich. Remember this little moment? There's three things that happen with bread. One, you look at it. One, you smell it. And then, <laughs> hey, that's our sandwich, dude. You smack your brother with it. Yes, that is them. Today's gonna be a lot of fun and hot too because in San Diego it's about 800 or 80, which is 800 to us. But I tell you what, let's meet the boy, shall we? He's an arborist by day, a husband of one and a father of two. He's six foot three, 195 pounds. Let's say hello to Max's middle brother, Jordan. And next up, when he's not selling commercial real estate, he's working on his golf game, or it might be the other way around. At six foot two and 185 pounds, please say hello to the baby of the family, Zach. Okay, me again. Listen, I'm only here for a second just to set everything up. My spot will be over there with my back to the cooking and the nonsense. Oh, and I'm certain there's gonna be nonsense. Here's the plan for today. Two things are gonna be made. Breakfast. One will be a grilled bavette steak, chili killis, red chili killis. Oh my God, with eggs, one of my favorite things ever. And for lunch, a fantastic udon salad, marinated, Denver steak on top. Oh boy, they're both gonna be great. Who gets to cook what? Well, guess what? I have two packages of meat here. We'll let the boys choose, only by the package. And the meat they choose will decide what they make. You ready? Boys, come on in. All right, this is my spot for the day. I kind of like it. I'm like an announcer. I just can't see a damn thing, but that's going to be okay. And this is the fun of it. First thing up, the boys behind me have to decide who's going to use which cut of steak without knowing what the cut goes with. Boys, time to pick. Maybe a Rochambeau would be the right move. You guys decide, but you got 30 seconds. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, one out of one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Gotcha. <sighs> um, I'll go here. Show me, wait, let me see which one you got. All square, you're not supposed to turn around. No, I have to know which one you're dealing with. Zach's trying okay. to compensate. That's all, I'm only looking at a package for, okay, we're starting already with this. All right, boys, open them up. Will we know what the difference between, just right off the bat? Do I know the difference? Will we, like, will it be that obvious? Well, I'm about to tell you. So Zach chose the rectangular package. In that are two Denver steaks. And if you watched our episode last month, you'll know how fantastic a Denver steak is. Really one of our favorite cuts these days. Zach is going to be making the udon salad with the grilled Denver steak. It's gonna be fantastic with a light little marinade on top. Jordan is gonna be making grilled bavette steak on top of red chili quiles. Oh. I love chili quiles. This is going to be good. And by the way, there is one shared activity, boys, that will come up. But first, we need to make our marinade. Zach. Yeah. What? Do I keep hearing White Claws opening up behind me? What is going on? All right. The, the baking sheet tray, Zach, with the udon packs on it. <laughs> What's going on? Why do I keep hearing? I can't turn. I'm just gonna assume that there's- Okay, baking sheet with udon, I got it. Baking sheet with udon, that's you. You know what that is? That's the ingredients for the udon salad. Okay. That's your baking sheet. Everything you need is on that, Jordan. The other baking sheet belongs to you. And there's a small baking sheet in the middle that has a few shared ingredients on it for yeah. both of you, okay? So get your plastic containers that were on top of each. Okay, okay. one sec. Oh, stop it. What? I don't even, come on. That was like four and 30 seconds. It's not happening. I told them I don't want them getting all tipsy drunk. Yes, they can have a cocktail or whatever those things are. You know. What do you consider those things? It's called the seltzer. Seltzer. You drink and this is called the, the hair of the dog. I need it. It's medicine. Uh, yes, you were away this weekend. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your plastic containers each and yeah. you're going to eyeball. Do you think you can eyeball? Okay. Hello? Yeah. Do yeah. you think you can I need answers. Oh, yeah. definitely. Jordan. In yours, you're gonna start with a half a cup of the neutral oil. That's avocado oil. You can use either the bottle or the squeeze bottle. They're both the same, okay? Half cup. Half cup. Zachy, you're going a half a cup of soy sauce. Okay, which I don't have. Oh, I got it. Okay, it's on the shared thing. Yeah. Half a cup. Then you're gonna put, you should have about the same amount of liquid in your containers. Okay. Okay. Wait, let's see. <laughs> 
Zach did three quarter cup, but that's all right. No, that's like a tablespoon. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, just let me tell you, measuring is not so important when you're cooking. When you're baking, it is. If you don't put the exact amounts when you bake, then it won't rise or fall or get puffy or whatever. Cooking is like hand grenades. Close enough is, is probably good enough. Zach, put two tablespoons of that neutral oil in your soy sauce. Okay. Hey, Jordan's One, doing my... Two. Okay, that was, that was good. Okay, nail Jordan. Sorry, Zachy, you're gonna put two tablespoons of rice vinegar and One, then two. you each need brown sugar. Zachy. Three tablespoons brown sugar. See, Jordan, Jordan, one tablespoon brown sugar. One. We don't use spoons. Jordan, two tables. Jordan, two tablespoons soy sauce. Jordan is making uh, like a, a quick carne asada marinade. Zach, do you have rice vinegar in? I do. You each have brown sugar in? We do. Zachy, tablespoon sesame oil. Tablespoon sesame oil. Yeah. Check. Jordan, tablespoon of cumin. Check. Couple teaspoons of the BFF, Jordan. Um, got it. Tell me when. One tablespoon of cumin. Yes. Well, that was like three minutes ago. <laughs> All right, we're there. Please keep up. Okay, Jordan gets three tablespoons of garlic paste. Okay. Zach, you can do the same. Do I get no BFF? What are you? You're the salad. Yeah, like you're coming up. Yeah, you can do a teaspoon of uh, the BFF. It's hot. I'm hot. I'm gonna be inside in about a half, in about ten minutes. I'm smelling good. Uh, let's see. Can I give you a whiff of my marinade? You want? No, don't worry about it. Zachy, you're also putting in a tablespoon of the ginger paste and a tablespoon of sriracha. Jordan, you've got juice of that lime in there. So cut the lime, squeeze both halves. Squeezed in. Okay. Everybody's good? No. You're really like Hey, he's in instructing my... you. I'm just squeezing my lime. Say that again, OG, sorry. Okay, once your lime's in, mix well with a fork or spoon, whatever you've got. You're gonna take about half of your marinade and put it in your Ziploc bag. Jordan, you're gonna put all of your marinade. Uh, leave back a, about a quarter, Jordan, and put it in the Ziploc bag, and then your steaks will go in. Am I doing both? You're gonna put both in. You're gonna unroll yours a little bit, and you're gonna wanna make sure when it goes in the bag that it gets coated well on all sides. Once it's in the bag. Should it be cut at all? No cut. It should be cut when it gets cooked. Why are we cutting a steak first? Dad, you are telling me. I'm telling you what. You want I, it all coated, it can't fit. I it's grew up steak. with this guy. Yes, you can make it fit. All right, I've done it a hundred times. Once they're in, coated nicely, Try and get rid of as much air as you can, seal it up. Then give it a little rub with your hands to make sure it's really well sealed. All right, those now, for the people watching, that could go in your fridge for an hour, a couple hours. If you're gonna cook it in a half an hour or an hour, you could actually leave it out. It's gonna be fine. They were cold until just now. And you do wanna take your steaks out of the fridge 45 minutes-ish before you cook them. So they're fine, air's out, they're sealed well, they're covered well, off to the side. Now we need to, this is the group activity, boys. We're making our own tortilla chips for the chili quiles. The process of making your own tortilla chips is quite simple. The boys have got corn tortillas over there. Boys, get your corn tortillas. They're gonna take them and they're gonna cut them into sixths. Sixths, I can't say that. Say that, Max. Six. 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 You went to college, I didn't. So you could cut them in half and then each half into thirds. We're heating oil beside them. And to know how hot the oil is, you could use a thermometer. We're gonna use then infrared. Who wants to use the infrared thermometer? Hey. Here you go, Max will give it to you. Hit me, what are we looking for, temp You're looking for uh, about 350 or something. Okay. Well, let's find out. So like Jordan's real weight? Ah, uh, what are you at? 326. Great, leave it where it is. Now, have you got some of those cut? Yeah, all of them. Okay, so you want to gently scatter some on the oil and it should start fizzling, sizzling away, yes? Yep. Oh, yeah. Use, using that Chinese fishing net, that silver thing on the end of the long wand, spread them out a little bit. You're looking for golden brown on all sides. It might take uh, two to three minutes. You know, Jordan's gonna have like six chips for his chips. When you've got them, what does that mean? No, you can put more in. I just didn't want them overlapping. Zach didn't put very much oil in here. That's fine. You don't need a lot of oil. You could also put them in an oven and bake them. This, look, this is going to work out just fine. So let me just shorten this for the people at home who are probably pulling their hair out right now. We're going to cook them till they're golden brown on all sides. They're going to take them out with the fishing net, gently shake off as much oil as they can, put them on the paper towels on the baking sheet to let them dry a little bit. And once they're on, then sprinkle them lightly with the kosher salt. That's the time because while they're still 
still hot and still a little wet from the oil, that's when the salt is going to stick. And by the way, if you wanted to change it up and do a little paprika, some cumin, some garlic powder, garlic salt, that kind of thing, it's up to you, sport, do what you want. We're just going straight salt today. We want the flavor to come from other things, but we do want some salt. So have at it, lads. A couple of minutes, golden brown on all sides, out they come, salt them, continue to, got a pile of them. So boys, how do the chips look? Pretty beautiful. Chips look great. Everybody happy? We're not eating them. We need them. We're oh, not no. eating. We're not you eating. Heat's sure. off the cast iron. I All right. Cast iron one. off. Can I have one? Cast iron off. You can share one. You break us split. Cast iron off. We're gonna let the oil cool. Then we're gonna take the oil out because we're gonna hello because we're gonna use that pan to make your chili quiles, Jordan. In the meantime, we can turn the grill on. Get All ready right. to take our steaks out because it's cooking time. Oh yeah. Let's get ready to cook some steaks. Come on. Hoo, 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 hoo. Boys, yeah. it's time to spray the grill. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to lift the lid halfway. You want to protect Max and Chance's lenses. Aye, uh, yeah. And then we give a good spray all the way across, evenly across the whole thing, because you guys are using most of it. How exciting is that when that happens? Pretty good. I can hear it. Highlight of my day. Okay, when you're done, just let it burn off a little bit and close the lid all the way so that it's down now. Perfect. So, Zach, you're going to take one of those two steaks, one of the two Denvers, and you're going to put it on. And, Jordan, when you take yours out, try and let most of the marinade boys drip off. Okay. Oh. And it's going to go on. Jordan, you're going to try and put yours down as a blanket, flat, okay? Like Jordan. Hold it to the. Should I fold it? Like imagine you're laying a blanket. I know, just laying down. a blanket. <laughs> I don't hold my blanket. You're making. Are you making a joke? Just be. That's a joke. Do this right, for God's sakes. Uh -oh, it's a, I'm not hearing as much sizzle as it's like. I'm gonna turn this up a bit. It's a. What now that's is a that? steak. It's a pretty even piece that Jordan has. Jordan will probably take his, turn it 45 degrees. Then flip it over. Jordan's is not trying? gonna take very long. Do you see the what, Zach, that's what I'm working with? And look Zach, what he gets. Zach, yeah. pay yeah, attention we now. That way, Zach. <laughs> pay attention. Every minute and a half, you're going to turn your steak. Okay. It's got four sides. Minute and a half Whoa. on an edge. Minute and a half, turn it. Okay. Not stop that. Tough <laughs> beat me. I believe I said this last time I cooked with these boys, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have to have children, don't. Hey, listen. Turn it like 45 degrees on the same Ask, side or flip no, it? No, no. Here, look at Here's your steak. Here's your steak like this, right? Minute and a half goes like that. Minute and a half like that. Yeah, got Just it. Just continue that. Remember, I said this earlier. We cooked them on Father's Day. I know how to cook a Denver steak. Well, then why are you asking? <laughs> I you don't let know. A lot of juice drip. <laughs> the cameras are making you I nervous. I still got all that. All Jordan, how's yours looking? The cameras don't make me fantastic. nervous. I love the camera. Okay. You got good grill marks on yours? Me? Yeah. I wish we could do live. Underneath? I don't think the grill's hot enough. You didn't crank it and shut oh, the lid. Ne near, sizzling near. No, Zach had mine at low. <laughs> no, I didn't touch it. Oh, I mean, look, we're not even cooking, Dad. Yeah, Zach needs to be higher than. Yeah. Okay, well, then turn them up to high. Then, then turn, yeah, listen, listen, then just turn them up to high and then shut the lid for a minute. Okay. Gosh, yeah. it's not complicated. So this is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna get these to the point where they're beautiful and perfect. Want you to cook the steak to where you want them. If you like it medium rare, cook it to medium rare. If you like it to medium, cook it to medium. If you like it over medium, then don't cook it and go make something else. Because a steak that is over medium, it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be tough, it's not gonna be very delicious. That's important to know. And your friends that tell you like a well done steak, they just have not had a good steak before. I got these guys talking behind me. You getting the heat now? I don't want anything burning. I certainly don't want Jordan's. Remember, Jordan's is thinner than okay, yours. Okay, I'm, I'm going out of 45. I'm 45, thank you. Struggling. I guess that was a minute and a half. Yeah, huh? I don't got too many. Okay, we're, we're, we got some we got some action. Woo! That's what I was looking for, though. Move it. Now, that's a steak. Throw it on the back end. Which one is a steak, Zach? Jordan. Well, you it, look at it. it a it's, bit. it's got a lot more surface area. So. No, we're no, we're moving. Okay, okay. We're moving. I think you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> no. And once again, so we don't have to make the audience sit through every uncomfortable second of this. We're gonna let these guys finish their steaks and get them to the point where they can rest, and we're then we'll take care of the rest of what has to happen. So Jordan is cooking a bavette, B-A-V-E-T-T-E, -E, also known as a flap steak. It comes from the part of the cow where the flank steak comes from. 
But unlike, hey, Sorry. but unlike the flank, yeah, I'm giving a speech here and you're talking, but unlike the flank that is a muscly part that gets worked a lot, the Denver steak that Zach is cooking, it's protected. That means it's gonna be more tender, but still nice fattiness in the bavette, big loose grain, it's gonna be really delicious when it's done. Super tender, it's a beautiful cut. And you don't see it very much because it represents such a small part of the cow. I think a lot of butchers keep it for themselves. Look, you probably won't find this cut like the Denver at a regular everyday supermarket. I mean, you might if it's a great one. This is why I tell you, find yourself a good butcher. Make friends, they'll help you understand what the cuts are, what you should do with them, and how you can get them from them. All right, the boys are gonna finish. We'll be back when they're pulling them off. What's happening? Talk Time's to me. It's coming off. All right. The bavette. There's a the bavette, there's a beef, uh, there's a beef. There's a sheet pan there covered loosely with foil. Zach, we're waiting for yours. We're almost there, right? We're getting there and it's looking beautiful. Thank you. We are ready to go. We're, we're pulling this. All right, pull off. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to cover it in some oil or some foil. Don't cover it in oil. Loosely cover it in foil. Okay. Oil. And oh, then, not oil. Oh, and oh, then, one little splash of oil. And then we're going to start prepping for putting these things together. The grill there's going a, up? There's a little cutting to do. Turn the grill off and we're good. Okay, guys, the steaks are resting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I need a little response so I know where we're at. Now we're going to prep vegetables and get our stuff started, okay? So, Zachy, I would start by cutting some green onion. Okay. So take a couple green onions. You're going to cut the white... Uh, root end off Okay, just making sure I'd like to slice them down the middle and then cut them across to a nice dice All right, Jordan is gonna take that white onion cut it in half peel it and then cut it into a small dice And it's gonna go. Hey, you're picking that up after I just heard something land over here Jordan's gonna take the white onion Peel it cut it in half cut it into a small dice and put half the white onion that he's diced into that cast iron pan on the heat. And then Jordan, you're also gonna cut that jalapeno seeds up to you if you want into a small dice. And about half the jalapeno, use as much as you want actually, that will go into the pan with the onion. Whole onion. Half onion. So Zachy, you're cutting the green onion. When you're done with that, you're gonna take one of those Holland peppers, slice it down the middle, and then on a diagonal into thin strips all the way up. But we're taking our time. When we rush, boys, that's when we cut ourselves. How many times have you done that? A thousand. And I only really cut myself when I'm rushing or being stupid, which happens too often, unfortunately. I'm getting the ricochet onion cry over here. That's why I was crying earlier. So we know what's happening. We know what we're doing, right? Not because you got yelled at. Jordan. Yeah? You could get your cast iron pan on the heat and get it on medium if you want. Throw maybe a tablespoon of oil in it, half a tablespoon of oil. And then your onion, your jalapeno is going to go in there. At home, if you can't find a Holland pepper, I know some of you have been telling you can't find them, um, red jalapeno. They all have about the same Scoville rating. They're all somewhere between 7,500 and 10,000 Scoville units. Do you yeah. watch Hot Ones? I, I do watch Hot Ones, yeah. Great. Very funny, huh? So wait, let's just concentrate on our work here before we talk about somebody else's. Zach is cutting green onion and jalapeno and uh, Holland pepper, that you can take one of those little silver baking sheet sack and put a little pile of the green uh, green onion you've cut and a little pile of the Holland peppers. We're gonna use those at the end of our, to finish off your udon salad, okay? Jordan, your onion and your jalapeno fine dice are going right in that cast iron pan on the heat nail and starting to cook. Yes. Thank you. Yes, chef. Thank you. Zach, when you're done with your cutting, you have one more job. Okay, I'm done. Okay. See those uh, snow peas? You need those. Some of them might have a little wispy hair on the end of them. You can pull those off. Find one with a little wispy hair. If you pull it all the way, it'll, it'll pull that seam off the bottom. And that's that little seam uh, coming off makes it easier to chew. So you want to do that to about half that little pile you got there. You guys not, might not realize it, but we're kind of coming down to the wire-ish. Zach's only pulling the string from one side, Dad. That's okay, you only need to do that one. No. It's that one flat side. No, oh, see, the, but the this was the... You need to get both. This is... Uh, wow. The top doesn't he, really need it. Fucking Man. amateur, look. You fucking... Both. I didn't fuck... I made this two nights ago, and I only pulled the bottom string, and they were fine. Were you going to listen to the camera boy or me? Do you want me to call mom and see how she enjoyed it? She didn't even eat them. What are you looking at? 
Because you only worry about your own shit. Mine's moving. I'm just watching you make mistakes. No mistakes. By the way, I am starving. I want everybody to do a good job here. Jordan, you done? I'm done. Okay. You see the uh, cilantro there? Rough chop yourself some cilantro. Do you see the radishes? Why don't you take a couple radishes, give them a quick little rinse, slice the bottom of the top off, and then cut thin slices of them. This is Dad, your- if you had to choose between Max, Jordan, and me. For what? Life or death. <laughs> you had to kill two. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Who's it gonna be? What is this, Sophie's Choice? Don't don't forget, I'm the baby. I'm in a boat with I've all three of you, baby. and I have yeah. to get rid of two of you. There is some thinking to let the youngest one survive because he's got more life ahead of him. There's also an, there's all kind of life. There's also an argument. <laughs> wait, there's also an argument to be I made. I said it earlier. I'm about to walk off this set. There's also an argument to be made to let the oldest one survive because uh, he's the most stable and he will take better care of his older parents. That's true. I'm trying to think of the argument for the middle one. Give me a minute. Okay, so are you? How are your jalapenos and your onions, Jordan? Mm. Burnt. No, Burnt? They're not. No, right. they're not. I can smell them. That's why I'm asking. Okay, open up that can of enchilada sauce. It's open. All of it. Yes, all of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're, wow, that pan was way too hot. Oh. Just dump it all in. Dump it all in. Oh my gosh, it was hot on my finger. We're kind of shortcutting the sauce for the chilaquiles. That could be green enchilada sauce. I like the red. I think it works nicely in this case. Jordan, you've also got some cumin left from your marinade. I would give it maybe a, you know, half a teaspoon or so. And you then you want to be- know when I can put these udon noodles in? Uh, well, not yet. Your water's warming up. Is your sauce bubbling, Jay-Z? Nope. Okay. No, he killed the heat. You can turn the heat back on. It's, you want, oh, the heat's on. Okay, you just want to, you know, like a low simmer. Yeah, oh, that's fine. exactly what's happening. Okay, here. so here's what you can do. Now you're gonna kind of clean up your areas a little bit. We want the, the cutting board clean because now we're going to cut our steak. Jordan, I have a question? Yes. H how thick or thin is the sauce for the chilaquiles? Pretty thin. Would you agree with that? It's not super thick, but it's... Okay, so we don't want it super thick, but do this. In the fridge below you, Jordan, yeah. should be a, who's coughing over there? Who's... Yeah. Should be, chance, should be some heavy whipping cream. Do me a favor first. Yeah. Smell it. Uh, prank. If you're still smelling and you're not puking, it's fine. It's all right. Okay, good. I would go, go like a uh, quarter to a third of a cup in there. Oh, wow. Quarter of a cup. Stir it around, let it, can, is it simmering now? Slightly. Okay, so just make, make sure it's mixed nicely. Mm. Is that good? Looks good. Great. Okay, once it's mixed, then we can move on to the next step. And that's you guys cutting your steaks. Nobody cuts before I talk, okay? Okay, can I pull them out? Yes. Take them, put them on the counter. Reveal? Put them on the, yeah, go reveal on the cutting board. Oh, baby. How they look? Beautiful. Okay, Juicy I'm gonna tell tender. you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what we want from each, and then I'm gonna explain one special thing to you, Zach, okay? We always understand that we cut against the grain. Yes, sir. That's very important. Always. It should be pretty obvious with Jordans. Jordan, for the down. chili quiles, we want smallish, no. but I can't do this if you're talking. I can't do this if you're talking. So Jordan, you're gonna wanna cut with the grain to get yourself a piece that's maybe an inch and a half wide, and then against the grain into small thin bites, okay? Gotcha, cubes? <laughs> just please. I know you do this to try and make me insane. Do you not want me around very long? Because you're just trying to put me in an early grave. Is that what's happening here? We need you. So you heard that. Now, Zach, yours is not quite so obvious. Maybe you remember when we did it on Father's Day. The grain in yours goes which way? Side to side. Look at my hands. Your steak's like this. Your grain goes like this. Yeah. So you're going to cut your steak into thirds this way. And then turn that and then slice. You got it. Go about a third of the way down from the thinner end. Cut straight across. And how's it look? Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, okay, now you're gonna turn it and cut against the grain. You can, now it's obvious, right? So thin slices for both of you. Give yourself a nice little pile, put it up back on the baking sheet wherever you want it, and then we're gonna 
progress Whole to- Whole steak? No, you could probably just do, you are making a bowl of udon. So think about how much might need to be on top. Maybe a third of that, or maybe cut into that second section too, if you want. You know, cut another third thing and then turn. And then when you've got all that nice, make yourselves each a little pile, and then we can move on. And I need a bite. I'm going medium Wait, high? So what yeah. What are you trying to correct over there? Something's acted. Just tell me what. Nothing. Okay, I'm coming with mine. My perfect steak. Grip the tongs. Oh, look at that. Wow. You see, the thing about the Denver is all this fattiness in here. I mean, it is a Wagyu, but so good. Grab your tongs. Left hand over. I'm just going to cut the whole steak. Don't. Oh, my God. Boys. Good, huh? Okay, so what if hypothetically is... Zach cut the whole steak? Well, I didn't. Did you? No, I got two thirds of it. Okay, that's good. Only because if I want to do something different for a picture, it'll start to oxidize a lot, and I don't want. Should I not cut the whole? No, you just. I told you, just you need a little pile can for. Can I try it by yours? For chilaquiles. Holy shit, yours. that meat is so good. Have you given your brother any and Chance? I just did. These by the two way, are coming up. If you're scoring at home, Max is the only brother. Chance is not, but we Chance love him. Chance is an honorary brother. He's in the family. Well, I love him like a son. Now you're gonna do this, and this is important. Jordan is gonna take his tortilla chips, put them into his simmering sauce, put them in there. You wanna gently bathe them in that. You do not want to break them, okay? Do whatever you have to do, a spoon or something. Zach, you're taking your noodles. You're gonna put them in that boiling water, two packs. Yep. Okay? And then you're gonna, you're gonna go two minutes on a timer. Exactly. At the end of two minutes, you add the snow peas and go one more minute. It's the beautiful thing about cooking noodles like this. You so can put vegetables- in the oil. Udon in the in the water. You better have. What is going on? Please, if, I don't like to hear that. What well, did the I? Sauce, the chips are going uh, are getting submerged in the sauce. That's what's supposed to happen. Okay, okay. Zach is only putting udon in the water now. Yes. Two yes. minutes. I know. There you go. Chips are looking good, OG. That's great. So you're good, yes. right? By the time Zach's stuff is done, your chips are going to be done. All right, Zachy, what's your timer? I'm 145. I'm done. Go. Add the snow peas. Snow peas going in. Thank you. Jeez, fuck. What do you mean 145? I said two minutes. I know, but I put them in, then I set the timer. Okay. Now, now go one more minute. As soon as one minute is up, Zachy, listen. When your one minute is up, you take the pot and you dump the udon and the snow peas into the strainer yeah. and you run cool water over it. Cool water over it, okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming down to the wire. The sauce for the chili quiles has been made. It's been thickened a little bit with the whipping cream. Jordan has put his tortilla chips in there and now they're just softening slightly. At the appropriate time, he'll take it off the heat and he'll add the steak and the, the toppings that he's cut and it's gonna be amazing. Oh, this is hot. Minute, we, need, by the way. we need two eggs. We're at a minute. Okay, dump it, Zach. Okay, two cut eggs. the heat. Oh yeah, this is hot. Two eggs. Two eggs, you want two beautiful sunny eggs, Jordan. Cool water. Oil, and you got right. a flat spatula there. Yeah, dump it there and then cool water and you can make it come out the spray by pushing down the top. Cool that shit down. You want to cool it down fast because you don't want to continue cooking. The udon noodles right now are perfect, sort of chewy al dente. This workstation a little cleaner at it. Too much long, oh my God. Too much longer and they'll get mushy and you don't want mushy. But it's a beautiful thing cooking them with vegetables at the same time. We got two perfect eggs. Beautiful. You got some uh, BFF there, Jordan. Why don't you give him a little hit? Why doesn't Jordan now take his pan off the heat, put it on the cutting board, and now he can start to build his chili quiles. Hey, Zachy, when you're done and those are cool, shake off as much water as you can. Then you're gonna put them back in the pot from whence they came. You're gonna stir your sauce a little bit and add some sauce to it and mix it around. My marinade? Your marinade, yeah. We've done double duty with this, ladies and gentlemen. The marinade Zach used for his Denver steaks is now gonna be used to flavor the udon. It's just great. So happy. Swag. Okay, Zachy, you're building? I'm building. All right, let on it rip. On your cue, right? Way go, buddy. So you know the drill now? Uh, the noodles go in. You're gonna obviously wanna see some of the, the snow peas on top. Yeah. Once it's everything's in there, looking beautiful, then you've got some of the red holland peppers to go on top. Yeah. You've got the diced green onion, and then you've got uh, sesame seeds over there. Doing a pretty job? I think so. Okay, steak on and then sesame seeds. Oh, wow, dad, wow. Why did I hear Jordan snicker? Because he likes to... 
I mean, this is beautiful. It's what gorgeous. are you talking yeah. about? Okay. You there? I'm done. Okay. Leave it. Jordan, your turn. You ready to build? Yeah, I'm building. I'm going steak. Steak. Beautiful. Nice pile of steak. I think you might want an egg in there next. You don't have to do both. You do what you think is right. Oh, jeez. So what are you doing next? Talk to me. Avocado? Yeah. Then? I'll talk to you when I'm there. And I think you're going last, you're going to go cilantro? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, and you got the cotija? Yep. Great. So quiet over there. Wow. Oh, yeah. That was really pretty. I can't wait to see this. And when you're done, I come over and we look, we eat. Get on over here. Let's go. And there's moments that make a parent proud, boys. As I stand, no, not my mic's right here. As I stand on my toes, once again, <laughs> I'm there, that's me. That's where I live. I live down here. That's fine. Okay, let's just have a good look. And by the way, there is no competition. There's no winner or loser today. But there's always a winner and a loser. We're all having bites. Do you have sticks in your hand? Sticks. Okay, let's go Zach's work first. Come in here, buddy. I would like you guys to each have a look at Look at the nice, the beautiful steak, nicely, gorgeously cooked. And then these noodles. And you will definitely try and... A little bit of everything. If you can, get a little bit of everything. It's not easy. A fork would be the thing to do. <laughs> shit. Well, give me an hour. Hold on. <laughs> Piece of shit. There we go. Okay, one. <laughs> God. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Oh, boy. Christ. Jeez, the we Fuck. I just want, mmm, just bite, go. Mm. I'm a little That's nervous sweet. for the reaction. What are you nervous about? I just want to make sure that you like it. Well, I coached it. First time eating with chopsticks? Mmm, I'm telling you that marinade is mm -hmm. out of control. Holy ass. No man, if I do. And I forgot how much I love udon noodles. Dear udon. Beef is your new best friend. If you're not making this combination, you're crazy. People are always using udon for hot things. Having them in cold like this, especially when it's this hot outside, yeah. is fantastic. Okay, next up, the chiliquiles. Okay, so we got this beautiful sauce down here. Look at this. This sauce that we actually richened up a little bit by adding a little bit of cream to it. And the steak. Oh, gosh. And a bite. And this. And poke the yolk like this. Boom. Someone get in there. Oh, that. Mm. Smeared around. Smeared. And have this bite. I need some avocado. One, two, and three. They're just fucking giants. Mmm. Stop it. The sauce, the cotija. By the way, cheater sauce, right? Canned enchilada sauce with onion and jalapenos. Damn. But the steak, the bavette. Listen, what's the point of today? Well, hang out with your kids if you can. Celebrate my birthday, thank you very much. But also, try different cuts. We've used the Denver nail twice, we're completely in love with it. And this bavette that I do not believe we've used before, find yourself a butcher. Ask him if he can get you it. You're gonna want this. You're gonna want all of this. Check the recipes, they're below. Don't forget, it's summertime. Grilling beef is your best friend and you guys are getting creepy on either side of me. I don't even know what's happening, but it's kind of weirding me out. So you. Don't make the same thing all the time. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your kids, and... Love your dads. I like birthday. that, yeah. Love yeah. Every day. Happy thank birthday, you. Happy birthday, Thank you. Happy birthday, OG. Thank you, thank you. Hey. Oh, thanks. <laughs>